Hello and welcome. My name is Anlisa Tuswa and for today's discussion we're giving an overview of Old Mutual Investment Group's Sharia Fund range. In studio with me I'm joined by Mahi Jocket, um, Portfolio Manager at Old Mutual Investment Group. Mahi, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me Anlisa. I think let's start broadly. Um, what is a Sharia Equity Fund? So a Sharia Equity Fund is like a normal equity fund. It just follows um, Sharia compliant principles. To explain this nicely, there are two tests that happen. There's a qualitative test and there's a quantitative test. The qualitative test um, will throw certain shares out immediately. So there are certain exclusions, i.e. we can't invest in alcohol, tobacco, weapons, etc. So those are excluded. That's the qualitative test. So at the core, your business must be able to operate in a Sharia compliant manner or be permissible in that sense. Then there's the quantitative test. Now the quantitative test is a, a, a ratios and it's published by um, a body in Bahrain, a body of scholars. Um, and these are called the IOFI rules, the Accounting and Auditing Organization for Islamic Financial Institutions. So that's, that's a mouthful, but it's important to know. And one of those rules are you can't have a greater than 5% of uh, non-permissible revenue and there's also an important rule that we'll touch on later um, probably which is a debt rule and that's 30 to 33 percent um, of debt to asset value or market cap so if it breaches that then your um, that excludes your shares as well so it needs to p pass both tests and that's how we end up with the universe but in terms of a fund it's exactly the same like any other fund. It's just that we've got a limited universe. And who are these funds for then? These funds are for Muslim and non-Muslim investors. And the reason I say that because there's a couple of misconceptions. The first one is that Sharia compliant funds um, can't outperform because of the limited universe. There are hard facts in the market. We're on the scoreboard every day. And you can see that through, through various periods that Sharia compliant funds have outperformed. So that's the first misconception. The second one is that we, we actually did a study um, on our retail book, just slightly north of 20% of our um, retail book are as non-Muslim um, non investors. Um, and the question is why? Because their values and their morals or the way that we invest aligns with their principles. Um, and of course, what I've mentioned is, is, is also the, the performance. Does the, does the Sharia equity invest or favor particular sectors um, or, or specific sectors versus traditional um, equity funds? Oh, yes. OK, so um, link to the link to the exclusions. I think that's that's very important. That's a that's a very good question um, because the financials uh, sector is taken out completely right? because of the interest. So interest is one component that is is, is non-permissible so and banks of course make their money through through interest so we we, we don't have any any banks so a, a large sector that is excluded is is, is the financials uh, services sector but that would be on the qualitative test but on the quantitative test if you look further um, property I would say is 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 a sector that also the property companies have a lot of have a lot of leverage because that's the business model. So there's very few property companies um, that we can invest in. But other than, other than those sectors, if it passes the qualitative test and the quantitative test, um, we'd be able to invest. Then take us then through the investing process. I believe that our investment process is very differentiated. We like quality at the core of our process. Our process is a systematic process and we want quality businesses that are priced correctly but also have the ability to grow so and how do we how do we define quality a quality business for us is a business that is is, is highly profitable um, it's uh, it generates bucket loads of, of, of cash in terms of valuation where, where is it priced um, is it cheap is it expensive and then does this business have the ability to grow and that growth can come from um, you know a certain trend that they've actually um, been able to keep up with the, 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 the free cash flow growth um, and the earnings per share growth. That's what we look at first. 
from a model point of view. And then um, we also put the shares together to build a portfolio also in a systematic way. And that's the portfolio construction. And there we, there's a specific focus on, on, on risk. Look, Old Mutual, the Old Mutual Investment Group has quite a, a, um, a huge or a large suite of Sharia funds. Yes. Do you perhaps want to give us a brief explainer of each fund? Yes, I'd say we've got a full suite of Sharia <laughs> funds. Starting with the most conservative, that's the, um, the Old Mutual Baraka Income Fund, which is a Reg 28 uh, compliant income fund. Um, I think it's actually the only Reg 28 compliant income fund um, among our Sharia peers. Within that category, we are allowed to invest in 10% um, of equity, 25% of property, but the balance largely is the Islamic uh, fixed income instruments, which are called sukuk. Then we move on to the balance fund, which is a 60% total equity balance fund. It plays in the medium, a CISA medium equity category. Um, and of course, that's a, that's a legacy thing when we launched it um, back in the day, because um, we do do a 75% balance fund for, for clients who, who want a 75% total equity balance fund, but, but our off-the-shelf product and our balance fund is a 60% um, equity, which is 60% total equity, local or global. And the balance, again, is Islamic fixed income instruments, which are also cook. And then we've got our, um, our longest track record in our old mutual al baraka equity fund which is 75% um, local equity and 25% global. It's nice to have the global component because it, it's, it's a good diversifier um, and we've got, a, we've got a broader pond to play in, in the global space. And then we've got the old mutual global Islamic equity fund, which has been a star performer um, for us. It's a five star, morning star rated fund. It's won some very good awards uh, recently. Just quickly in closing, I just thought of this now. Um, tough economic times. Everybody wants to know, can this fund actually weather the storm? Yes, absolutely. I think in, you know, our, our philosophy with quality at the core um, is well suited for, for volatile market environments. I think that um, having quality at the core versus, you know, everybody wants to know, are you a value investor? Are you a growth investor? I think having quality at the core and then having value and growth um, on either side um, in volatile markets, we, um, we tend to outperform. We've, we've proven this. Um, we, we won the um, Best Portfolio Manager um, Award, uh, CityWire Award, uh, for local managers who manage offshore funds. Um, and that fund did north of 30% last year, uh, which is incredible um, in this market environment given that we are also um, underweight most of the Magnificent Seven. Thank you so much, Mahir. That was Mahir Chakat, Portfolio Manager at Old Mutual Investment Group. Well, thank you so much for that.